To my surprise, I was given command of U-2513, a brand new Type 21 Electra boat. I have to admit, this was quite the milestone for my career. It seems like eons ago, when I was the first officer of U-105, standing on the bridge, patrolling around the American coast. Now I am here, in command of one of the great engineering marvels of my time. The Type 21 is the most advanced undersea craft to date. Many of its features negate the superiority the Allies have in ASW tech and numbers. The boat displaces 1,621 tons while on the surface, more than twice of what a Type 7 does. The streamlined hull and sail were designed to reduce drag while submerged, where we will be spending the majority of our time. New batteries and electric motors almost double our underwater speeds compared to other U-boats. We are now able to run underwater at a speed of 16 knots for 46 kilometers and 6 knots for 520 kilometers. Specialized crawling motors, meant for operating quietly, can propel the boat at a speed of 5.5 knots for a total of 595 kilometers, unheard of underwater endurance. Of course, the boat is equipped with a snorkel, so it can recharge oxygen and batteries without exposing the boat to the Tommies above. The boat has a test depth of 135 meters. However, it is estimated that we can go much, much deeper than that, upwards of 300 meters. Although I don't plan to test that depth, unless absolutely necessary. Six torpedo tubes are fitted in the bow of the boat. The Type 21 has no stern tubes due to the streamlined hull. A hydraulic reloading system will allow us to fire a salvo of six torpedoes and then follow up with another salvo of six just yeah, 10 minutes hello. later. These capabilities will prove to be absolutely devastating when engaging an enemy convoy. Due to the situation in the Atlantic, deployment of our boat has been expedited, whether she is 100% ready or not. In the dead of night on October 1st, 1944, U-2513 slipped away from her shelter in Bergen. We would be heading towards the Baltic for a shakedown cruise, testing all of the new equipment on board. U-2513 would follow the Norwegian coastline on the surface and dive upon entering the Baltic. Our destination grid is AO-92. U-2513 was just clear of the harbor when the air raid sirens began to shriek. The men rushed to their gun positions and prepared to lay down some fire. The 20mm cannon swung around. Hopefully, our shakedown doesn't end here, in the middle of the harbor. The guns from all the coastal batteries and all the ships in the harbor began to rip open. Tracer fire flooded the night sky. Just as quickly as it started, it was over. No damage was sustained to the boat, but the port was hit rather bad. Hopefully, these are the last Allied aircraft we see during this cruise. U-2513 resumed her original course, heading towards the Baltic. The sun has risen over our Type 21, and we have almost made it out of the Norwegian fjords. Now we begin the three-day journey towards the Baltic. Systems and components are being tested on board, from the radar to the lowering and raising mechanisms for the snorkel. No component on board is safe. Everything will be tested and checked again, again, and again. The crew is being drilled constantly as well. They need to be ready for real combat operations. 
The Baltic is a pleasure cruise compared to the Atlantic. U-2513 has finally reached the Baltic and will now commence underwater drills. The transit to the Baltic has been extremely uneventful. I ordered the boat down to periscope depth. Let's hope we have no leaky valves. The boat went down the periscope depth just fine. All systems are normal. At a speed of one third, the boat is making seven knots. Very impressive. I ordered the boat down to 50 meters. Neue Tiefe 5.0 Meter. Vorne und 15, hinten oben 10. Everything seemed normal as the boat descended. However, it was soon realized that our dive planes were completely jammed in the down position. I ordered a full reverse and the boat to blow ballast, but she was about to nosedive into the seabed. U-2513 hit the seabed at a depth of 96 meters, nosed straight into it. Damage was negligible, just a little bit of water in the bow torpedo room. Preparations were underway to get the water out and prepare to surface, make repairs, and try once again. At 1400 hours, we were ready to try again. The boat slipped beneath the waves once more. Hopefully, there are no more malfunctions this time. The dive to periscope depth went off without a hitch. Deeper we went. Everything was functioning normally. No malfunctions this time. Testing of the electric motors, snorkel, and decoy launchers, plus other equipment, will begin in an hour. Tomorrow, we will conduct torpedo drills. My hydrophone operator picked up a small warship heading right our way. We quickly moved into position and gained visual contact on it, and it turned out to be a friendly warship. Nevertheless, this was a perfect opportunity to work on torpedo solutions. The crew began working. Speed, 10 knots. Range, 2 kilometers. Angle on bow, 80 degrees to port. Tubes 1 through 6 open. It took us no time at all to simulate an attack on this vessel. We will continue to practice on these torpedo drills throughout the day. U-2513 will stay in these waters until October 10th, then we will return home to Bergen. After a long week of patrolling the Baltic and conducting back-to-back -back drills, U-2513 was ordered back to Bergen. With a few kinks ironed out, I was confident this boat would be ready for her first war patrol. This shakedown cruise was very beneficial, however. The crew received lots of practical training, and lots of the systems on board were tested over and over again, increasing my confidence that they will be able to work in combat without any issue. 
After a whole seven days operating completely submerged, U-2513 has arrived at the fjords that will lead to Bergen. This was an absolute cakewalk compared to what awaits us out there in the North Atlantic. Our next patrol will undoubtedly be a war patrol. Let's hope this boat and crew don't share the same fate that has befallen so many others. <laughs> 